different. You have this war in Kondoma. She doesn't communicate. She doesn't see she lives. She's totally changed from a normal person. Oh, very, very normal. So,
something to intervene for her heart. It's her heart that's most wounded here. And I need both her heart and her mind to help. Absolutely. That's what we both long for. Yeah. So in the short term, I could certainly make sense to uh, Jigsaw, for example, who wanted to see the point that she wanted to see the sister rate of this fantastic program. Now I could certainly make sure that she and how long we have to take well, that would be a jigsaw because what we need to keep the job is but in the meantime and what are the programs? Well there's uh, there's actually a, a clinic out in Ballyban and they're actually there but is there an extra year training? Well, excuse me, um, how long is this going to take? Well I think we call it jigsaw Thursday but I'd like to keep that more so on the moment. So our overall the health of public counselor I'm just concerned about the only is that now. That's my main concern. What I, we can do now. I'm saying now. going to session right before mm. without saying actual help right now. She's going to be in a very, very low bit. She's not sleeping. She's presenting with typical symptoms. She's not sleeping. She's not eating. She's starting to deep, deep, deep stress. I actually don't think, from my medical opinion, I don't think going to be safe at the moment. We can actually handle talking about it. She needs to be in session right before she can actually talk about the feelings. I completely agree with the school, and I'm certainly not the school tomorrow. I'll be not with Betsy Thompson. I think there's a lot of change in the school. Is, also, is, it, is, it, is the drug addictive? Not at all. But I'm going to just, I'm going to speak to this prescription, okay? How long is she going to be on this? Well, we're going to start, I'll take the prescription. I'm sorry, to Dr. Stone, she's, she's afraid of this prescription. Could you please explain it to her? Of course. Okay, okay. and a labor fears. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, but she started last night and now I'm going to have this phone oh, about this is this morning. Okay. Oh, you know, all these little bad things that you have here. What happened last night is that you can all say that I'm all happy. Of course you don't. I completely understand that. But the fact that you took last night, I was going to give you so much last night and it's very, very difficult. I'm suggesting that you wait a day or two, that you bring home, that you watch her, that you deny her, that you look for all the things and get some things on it. If you have to manage, if you don't want to see it right at all, please get the prescription for her and then sure she can take it. And um, once you're able, now it's very difficult to talk about what you've been through and what you need to get you talking about it as well. So you have a prescription there, and if you give me my phone number, you can call me and we can start working on it. Because obviously, I'm not to be In your own start. medical opinion, with the years of experience that you have. This is the right amount. I'm start. absolutely convinced that it will really help you on there. If you just wait till it's not, it won't be too quick on there. And it's so not addictive. Oh, it's completely not addictive. It's very, very hard. And all the things you said, the list of things that you need to do. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. how Onya isn't talking and nobody's giving Onya a chance to open her mouth. The all three of them haven't shut up. And the doctor especially keeps saying how 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 Onya needs to talk and Onya needs counselling and Onya needs this and she isn't letting anybody get a word in edgeways. Okay. Okay, but on
if you're more uh, serious than you have a bad experience. So I was wondering if nurse would come over and say, well, when I speak to the therapist, is that your case? Uh, well, I would stay up with you. I only look by myself. Yeah. No, the nurse would come and speak to the therapist. You want to stay with the nurse? Do you want to sleep on top of the doctor there and sleep on our Do you need a nurse? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. She's safe with us. We're her parents. Well, who wouldn't be safe? We're not going to commit her. She'll be with her for days. She's 17. You want but her to, be to, to, be, uh, to be a mother, to have children, <laughs> to be a <laughs> We just want her to live. Just living would be. Yeah, but she's taken. And we have higher hopes than just living. We yeah. want her to be happy. And she will not be happy. She can't be Committed. happy now because she's at risk. Doctor, in your own medical opinion, yeah. which are years of experience, <laughs> 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 temporary. I just felt it was worth it because not alone did she not have uh, the right to speak, but uh, the parents were actually taken out of the room, leaving her in the room, not knowing. I mean, that's totally out of her start, in my opinion. Anybody else? Yeah, I think it was somewhat disempowering for her to be left alone. Echoing what you were saying, for the parents to be taken away, and it was like she wasn't being consulted, the parents were being consulted, and she was being treated as a patient rather than a human, so it just, it was disempowering to her, so, I mean, she's already in a very emotional state, it wasn't good to leave her on her own. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think the parents probably would have been spoken to beforehand, separately, very likely. But in, a, in other words, what was shown there was what possibly would have happened to kind of pit, put them in the picture. Okay, so it depends on the age of the child and the conversation relationship. Yeah. Who's having the conversation? Who's being listened to? Absolutely. Yes, go on. I don't see why the doctor couldn't have spoken exactly the same word with her there. Okay, so in this scenario, should we go to the next scene? Can we just look and just see if any of this was spoken about? Because there's a lot of yes and no, 50 50, yes. Yeah. Go to go to the next scene. Uh -huh. I think the worst thing that was done to her was when her friend died, uh, they actually left her on her own. Instead of the mother and father, at that stage, coming in and giving her the support she needed. She got no support whatsoever, and she decided to take her own life, and that's, that's it. Well, we know that. Should we look at that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So what we want to do particular scene? After the girl died. 